Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to, uh, wow, Scorched Earth is getting ready to launch, and oh my gosh, I am wicked excited. Today, I'm joined with Jay. You want to say hi, Jay? Hi. Hi, all right. So, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, Ark Scorched Earth Ascended, uh, taking a look at this trailer that's just about to come out, and then also uh, Bob's Tall Tales. Also, at the end of the video, uh, I want to uh, mention a few things about the other stuff that's been added to Steam about Bob's Tall Tales, which is, I mean, in my opinion, it... It's going to be kind of interesting, maybe cool. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm confused. But hey, let's do this. You ready, Jay? Yep. All right. All right. So we have umbrella tops already right at the beginning. And hold on. I'm already so, stopping the video. This Is this the arena? I don't know, but the statue is cool. It The statue is wicked Statues. cool. There's two of them actually. Yeah, so the statues are cool. The temple looks really, or the arena will look be the arena because it's got the. Yeah, it looks like they added it's... a bunch more foliage to the outside area, which, in my opinion, is pretty dang cool. That's awesome. Like, even the first clip, the water looks really good, and the saturation of color is really nice. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this this I've already seen the trailer once, and I, and at the end of the video, I will put the entire full trailer at the end so everybody can watch it without us talking. But for now, but yeah, um. Honestly, I love the textures of the trees, everything like that. I mean, this looks really well yes. done. Yeah, they look very feathery, the fronds and stuff, so, so it's quite nice. Right. Ooh, ooh, Why? ooh. First, uh, right? <laughs> the first one. Oh, my gosh. All right. That is kind of cool. Even here, like, the texture of the rock and everything looks really good. All right, so this is the red obelisk right here because there's one just right up here to the right, which means this would be runes that new runes, fresh runes, that are built in to the the mountainside right here, and then over there across the way that would be the metal island, metal mountain that I use all the time in grinding and stuff. That wow, that that place has changed. It looks like there's a whole bunch of new runes on it oh wow okay all right what do you think i think it does look really good and then the mesa over there oh i love the fact that they kept the mesas in the same spot all right i'm gonna press play again okay this bats. has to be inside the yeah, bats uh this has to be inside of one of the caves apparently they added a bunch more water to the caves and such i'm not sure which one this is though no, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> death worm eating the dead on. Oh, that was cool. And here's the new dinosaur right here, right next to uh, this. That's kind of cool. Wyverns in the background. Right? Yeah, the couple of them over there. I love the sunset as well. Looks like they've changed the oil pumps a bit as well. They've added like tanks and stuff to the side of it. Right, yeah. To make it look more. Yeah. Okay, now. Oh, man. See, that's one of the things I love about Arc Ascended. Well, I love and hate the stuff about Arc Ascended is the fact that they've got the caves. They look so, so good, but they altered them in a way that makes them much harder to do. And so, well, yeah. that's a good thing. It is a good thing. It it, it is. It's um, content fresh. Exactly. Um, yeah, I do like that, and the water effects just look wonderful. Mm -hmm. Even the lighting in this cave, mm -hmm. from the crystals and everything, looks really good. Right. All right. Here we go. Akatina. Snails. Oh. Okay. So. Did they put horses out in the middle of the high desert? Because please say they did. Oh, my God. And then also the sandstorm coming in. This is like the Conan sandstorm, which is uh -huh. yeah, it's so cool. Oh, man. But, yeah, if they put Equus out in the middle of the high desert, that would make them so much better on Scorched Earth. It would be good to see the herds of horses running around. So. It really would, yeah. Then having every once in a while them being preyed on by, uh, you know, the death worms. <laughs> yeah. Right? right. Okay, so this is the new sandstorm? 
it looks they, like it. If they if it is the new sandstorm, they toned it way down because the old sandstorm was really bad. It was like literally whenever a sandstorm was coming, it's like, hey, hunker down because you ain't doing anything for five minutes, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So maybe this is them just getting back, or maybe it's like the initiation of it. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? I mean. Because you can see, I mean, it's probably draining their stamina quite considerably, but yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's a rubble golem right there. Yeah, that's... Don't they realize that a thylacolio takes those out? Someone's better. <laughs> but uh, look <laughs> at these crystal formations over here on the side. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, really does look good. Yeah. Dead Carno, and then uh, vultures. The vultures. And then over here, you're gonna have a hyena comes in. That's what happened, right? This is looks like it's the uh, lush area over by uh, South. Uh, I want to say four, one of the initial spawn spots, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Boa. I know they're so cute. Yeah, right? Oh, and they. Wyvern. That right there. Hold on. Let me back this up one sec. They kept in the original, uh, the skins for the pike and everything like that. That's cool. I was hoping they would uh, make sure to include those in. That's nice. awesome. Yeah. And uh, the Phoenix. Blue Fire Phoenix. Right? That lightning effect looks so good. Oh. And the eggs. Right? The egg, it's like shivering and glowing. That is so and cool. That is very cool. It looks like it does have the flames emanating from it, but also the nests look like they've been right? drastically I... updated. Although, I don't know if that, like, obviously the, the player is quite far away, but I don't know whether the size of the wiper necks have maybe been reduced. Maybe, maybe they decided they that looked... they didn't like, you know, something so massive coming out of their body every once in a while, you know. <laughs> but no, like even cause what, uh, the the eggs used to sit huge. Right, yeah, the eggs used to take up of this the... massive area, yeah. And so then... either they've made the nests a, bun- a, a good bit bigger or they've reduced the size of the eggs. I just hope that they uh, have fixed a bunch of the bugs that we used to have with the nests and stuff in the original Ar- um, Survival Evolved. I hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. If not, at least hopefully it's the same nest that you need to loot. Right. That yeah. fixes all. All right, let's move up. Oh, look My at burn. that. Yeah, right? Nice fire I like the well. wyvern trench. That looks really good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. All right. Poison wyvern. I hope they made the poison wyvern stuff easier to aim. Oh my god. I mean it once you got the hang of it, it was really good, but it took it it was next level on getting the hang of it. So yeah. But look at this, you get a really good view of everything. Mm-hmm. Off in the distance, there's the high desert. This is pretty cool. black and green head there. Right. Oh, purple. Right. Okay, now that right there, hold on. That right there, they really changed this. I mean, now, look at that. that this right here, this was, um, oh my gosh, I, I just finished recording a down. video on it. Yeah, this was the one skeleton that you could walk up that was inside the wall in uh, the cave that was up past the blue ob. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really cool though. I love that they kept that in and they actually made it look even better now. That's so awesome. <laughs> and a sheep being chased. Oh. There we go. <laughs> For a sheep being chased it, by a right? would player it with a chainsaw? chainsaw. Would it really be Scorched Earth without that? I'm just saying. That's probably one of the biggest aspects of scorched earth is being able to hack apart a sheep with a chainsaw i'm just saying right <laughs> then we got the rock element ah and there oh, we sure. go and now we're getting into bob all right this one right here that desert arc looks better than we all remember 
But you're asking yourself, how can I take things up a notch? Right? Well, I was asking myself that just a second ago. Gather around, survivors, because Bob's got stories for you. Tales chock full of rip roaring old west. Clothes look really good in this. They do. Uh, this right here is for the thirty dollar paid expansion, like. which is, in my opinion, it could be kind of cool. But from the things I've seen in it, it looks like it might actually be worth it. So, but even like the design of the clothes is fair enough, but like even the textures have managed to the textures have managed to do really well. Right, like, and also if we can get Levi, coat. right, yeah, and also if we can get Levi jeans. I mean, really. Or denim jeans, sorry, not Levi. But yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I do like the, the leather vest. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Yep. They've done it quite well as well. They have. I'm not sold on the gloves, but hey. Ah. Even the shirt with the rolled up arms is quite good. Right. Uh, and they've got a horse attached to a cart to pull it. <laughs> that was pretty good. I love this, okay. the Thyla. Oh, look. Wait, wait, though. Well, mm. yeah, the Thyla pulling, but also they have um, um, raptors. Yeah, raptor on... equus right here. It looks like well, there's yeah, new wood Tied styling. to the post. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, on a hitching post, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, well, it is. I mean, the guy who does S Plus does work with them now. And also, I like the idea that I mean, look at this. This is a different wood texture on a lot of the stuff. Yes, and that's huge because mm -hmm. that's something that's been lacking is the variation in textures. Right, exactly. Of, yeah, you have to add mods before you can get really styles. good textures and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love this. It's a Thyla pulling it. Yep, pulling a cart. That is great. Our carriage, sorry. All right, so what can we get the piano? I'm just saying, right? Piano would, would be cool. I would like to get a Pardon piano. Me. Piano would be cool. Um, but being able to set up your own saloon is going to be quite cool in this way. Right, and I'm noticing one big, huge thing. I see like the, the scarf as well. See the war map? Yeah, that right there. The scarf is cool. But you see the war map up there? It took them yep. ages to get the war map updated to the scorched earth. Oh, okay. And now it's starting okay. with it. So <laughs> that, that happened, right? Right. So, yeah. Looks like you've got a leather back chair there as well. Right. Okay, the train, I'm not so sure that, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced that Ark needed a train. But right. if you're going Old West, then you need something to rob, right? Yeah, well, that's it. And um, well, at least it's not cars or right something along those lines. No, that's for extinction. They're go. I guess from the, what I've read, it sounds like they're going full road warrior with extinction. So yeah, all right. It's gonna be very strange it, to have. It really will. Yeah. Vehicles like that. I mean, I suppose when you think about um, Ark as. Well, the way it was, right, and evolved, even having a train and a it, town like that is. It does seem very much out of place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you went from dinosaurs to this. Yeah, All right now, yeah, but then again, the original. I I'd like to equate the original arc. All the way up to extinction was, you know, that was Ark. And once you went beyond that into, like, the Genesis and now this, now you're off just into the realm of fantasy, you know, and everything like that. Granted, Ark already was fantasy, but we veered off so many times at this point that it's just, yeah. Eh. Right. Yeah. You know, they're never going to, when you're playing this, you're never going to use a six shot, uh, a revolver. I'm just saying, I mean, it's going to be long necks up there. <laughs> One shot. Right. Yeah. With a sniper. But, yeah. <laughs> but the guns in the video go with theme. Oh, oh of course. So. Yeah. 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 They're, they're just keeping with the theme. But practically when you're playing the game, you wouldn't do that. I'm just saying. And in this shot, 
Mm -hmm. The guy that's kneeling down that's about to get, you know. Mm -hmm. um, That looks like they've attached a ladder to the side of the building. It does. Yeah, right there along the edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different texture and everything. It's just a ladder sticking out from the side. It does look funky. Although everything on this is constructed with the wooden stuff that we saw in the... uh, um, Oh, in the uh, um, saloon area, in the town. So here's the okay. railing set up like this, and there's the cross beam, and yeah. <laughs> I know that's kind of cool. I mean, if we could go Red Dead Redemption back. on this, this is that 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 would be kind of cool. And then yep. comes in the new dude. Yeah, who is humongous. Right? I mean, I'm gonna get me one. I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The dude uh, excusing himself to the cactus. Well, you wouldn't want to do that in the cactus. I'm just saying. No. But the new outfits look quite good. The they do kind look of bandit like outfits look good. Um, that looks like a new wall lamp. It does, yeah. Yeah, right there. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm liking it. And that would be like Bell. the equivalent of a war drum, right? Right, yeah. Oh, and here's one of the other new dinos. I mean, I can see that mechanic yeah. working in the high desert. Right. But to have it swimming through what's supposed to be solid ground right, yeah. is a bit strange. But so is this just a clay deposit or what is the, what are they doing? Oh, buried gold. gold. Never mind. Okay. Yep. Why burns? Right. And of course, it wouldn't be Ark if you didn't blow so up the your dinosaur. C4. Well, C4. Mosey yep. on by for a bit. And even health and all for a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Look. What? You've got, um,. Oh yeah, you uh, have steampunk for ascended or uh, for uh, aberration, and you have uh, oh, rogue yeah, warrior like for you're, extinction. You're you're kind of getting a pre glimpse of this is yeah. On the right, um, there's the uh, um, rock drakes, but also the spiky spitter things. What right, are they yeah. called again? Yeah, and then also the uh, um, oh the cars with oh t- I wonder if they actually got the uh, um the the jeep uh, fixed. They tried putting it into Ark years ago, and it just never worked, and it was, oh, my God. But, yeah, really? now you can put a trike to the front of it. Huh. Okay. That's kind of like cool. The, I like the dagger that the guy's holding. Right. I do like that. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Um, it just seems quite far removed from what arc so was much originally. all all of bob's tall tales is very far removed from arc matter of fact if you're going to play arc the way arc was intended don't play with this stuff but if you want to mm-hmm. spice up everything then use this stuff because it's going to add a bunch of spice to it a whole new theme per map which is but in just, my opinion is cool you know and it's, it's fair right but a war uh, an airship in aberration in a no flying map Right. How are they going to work that? Yep. It feels cheaty, but also, um, is radiation damage going to pop that thing and everyone's going to die from it? Well, or... if it doesn't, I'm going to make sure something happens to it. I'm just saying. I mean... Well, it's not just that. You've got Reapers that could probably pierce and puncture. It depends on what it's made of. That looks shiny as if it could be metal, but right. airships are. I mean. Right. Yeah. I suppose that's blimps that are mostly right. fabricated. But right. All right. Still. But hey, that's our take on the trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you have fun, Jay? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's going to be quite interesting to see what uh, once everything's deployed, how it all pans out. Right. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, hey, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, at the end, I will put uh, re uh, put this entire trailer at the end uh, just where you guys can watch through it without our talking through it. But, yeah, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker and Jay. And take it easy, everybody. You want to say bye, Jay? Bye, folks. Bye. Take it easy, everybody.
Sure. That desert arc looks better than we all remember. But you're asking yourself, how can I take things up a notch? Well, don't you worry yourself none. Gather round, survivors, because Bob's got stories for you. Tales chock full of rip roaring old western adventure. Ah. up your dinosaur pals and mosey on by for a big heap of health and of oh. 